right, y'all. UNG radio station. This is Tuesday night, Indie night. We get it in for the folks, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Every Tuesday night we go hard to paint. Tonight's show is sponsored by Vibes Apparel. You know what I mean? We get it in. We got some special MC slash artists in the building all the way from Chicago, Illinois, all the way from Dayton County, Miami, Florida. Y'all know what it is. We're about to go hard to paint. And that was a new song right there. Uh, South Kid, you know what I mean? The songs that you heard right there were by the artists that we got in the building, man. Lyndon Laveau earned the title, you know what I mean? I can tell this brother's about sports. He a real Miami Heat fan. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. We're about to get it in and have a good time, y'all. How y'all doing tonight, man? Blessed, man. Grateful. Yeah, grateful. Man. Grateful to be alive. It's been a crazy two years, brother. You know what I mean? Just right. to be back in the circuit and uh, being, because we got a performance. This is like our first performance. Like, we did other things, but, like, it's been a minute, so now that we, like, outside, outside, it feels fantastic to be outside, and, and, and you know, we're, I'm just grateful, just grateful for the opportunities that have been coming. Tess and I have been talking a lot of cloth, a lot of new music, a lot of new projects are coming, and we're just fortunate, fortunate to be doing what we're doing, and ex we just keep going, leveling up with each year. So. All right, let's, let's get it going. Lyndon LeVoe, uh, who are you, big brother? Let the world know who you are. Well, what it is, everybody, my name's Lynn Laveau, the Prince of Flow, straight out of Dade County, 305 in the motherfucking building, but we ain't forgetting about Lake Forest, we ain't forgetting about West Park, we ain't forgetting about Hollidale, because you already know what it is, all love, all love from, from the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, what can I say, man, I've been through it all, raised by a single mother, I found comfort in music, uh, what's been beautiful is that music's always been an escape for me, so uh, I used to... Uh, you know, I, there was a point in my life where I let it go, where I let it go. But you know, when they talk about uh, you are the thing you can't you can't live without, and every so often music kept coming back into my life. It was like God telling me, "Yo, go back to music, go back to music." And eventually, once I started getting back to my music into my early twenties, early twenties was when I first put out my first mixtape. Official mixtape. I put one out in GarageBand hey, in 2010. <laughs> you can hear the clicks. You can hear the clicks. <laughs> you, know, you can hear me recording. <laughs> but, but I put one in 2010 that went triple plastic. You know what I'm saying? That means you've been putting in work. Yeah, yeah. But you know the time, the time that I put in. Uh, I studied people. I studied everybody from from the MCs that we know about, from the MCs in my corner to my peers. I always like keep myself around. People who have their uh, sword sharp, just because, as you know, in hip hop, you only as better as the people around you. True, true you know what true. I'm saying. So if your man's ain't, if he's not trying to be his best, then how am I supposed to be my best? I can't. I had a, my, our engineer, JB, of the track burners. What up, everybody? The track burners follow them at the track burners. They got plaques with Big Sean, Future. They out here, all right. And so JB, JB, we was in the session the other day, and we was talking about how I can't be the only star. You know what I'm saying? So I like to keep MCs around me who keep my sword sharp. And what, like I said, mentioned before, music's always been a place of comfort. And what I found, once I started really doing music for love, for pure love, like, that's when a lot of my blessings started happening. Right, you know, I understand where you're going with it. Uh, for those who don't know, it is a team game. Some people think that I'm the top MC and it is what it is. Well, bro, man, you got to understand. You got to have your DJ. You know, when you get ready to get yeah. on stage, you got your music yeah. ready for you. You got your producer, you know what I'm saying, who made the music for you, your engineer who makes the sound good in the studio. Absolutely. There's somebody who's booking these places for you. Yep. There's yep. your fans, your family, yourself. It is a team, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. Kevin Durant, he rocking the Nets, but he's got to pass the rock to somebody. We can't shoot them all, you know what I'm saying? So, exactly. Super fast. MCs, super fast. y'all need to study on that, you know what I mean? Y'all test. Yeah, yeah. What it do, big homie? What's up? Yo, this your second time being in the station, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. How you like the new location, man? It's tight. Actually, it's real. It's real nice. Yeah, we're working like hard, man. Yeah, yeah man, it's crazy, man. You know, uh, pandemic had flushed us out of the building that we was in. And we had to do it from the garage. <laughs> <laughs> but you made it work. No, let's not. Let's not. Yeah. Run. Man, man, made that shit work. <laughs> like y'all didn't even know. He gave out the secrets. Y'all probably yeah. wouldn't even know about yeah. it. Yeah. Right? It's all real. Big homie, it's called putting in work, putting in man. You do paying your dues. Yeah, you know absolutely. What I, mean? yeah. I know Tez, man, for years. Yeah, for real. I used to work at Morehouse College and he played for the football team. Small yeah. world. Small yeah, world. Coach world. Freeman. Oh, man. Don't over the Hey, but what I didn't know that you was doing music back then. Yeah, I we, know. Uh, how long have you been doing your music, man? Uh, Seriously, since 2011. 2011, you've been getting it in, huh? Yeah, I mean, a little bit before that when I was uh, opening up for Twister in like 2008, 2009. 
hey, Twister's my boy, you know what I'm saying? Twister! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They always want to say who the hottest MC is and shit, you know, and they want to give it up to others, but they leave out Twister and Twister. Which is blasphemous. Flip that shit. Yeah, he, you know what I'm saying? And he represents the Midwest. MC. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's dope right there. Yeah. Twister, you know what I'm saying? I just seen this battle that they got on Instagram between him and Eminem. You saw that? It's new. They got Eminem oh, on one song. side and Twister on the other oh, side. Oh, like one of them, you know, competitors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, the thing about it is, uh, no disrespect to nobody in hip hop, their opinions. I got to give it up to Twister on that one because he's been doing that from the gate. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. And, been, and been like a master at it. That's real. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, but Ted, yeah. your music, you know what I'm saying? Was you doing music in Chicago? Were you raised in the music? You know what I'm saying? No, I wasn't, I wasn't raised in music. Actually, I didn't even want to do music. Uh, my cousins were doing music Wait, for real? in Memphis. Yeah. <laughs> nah. you know, for real, like in Memphis, my cousin was heavy with the music because my uncle, uh, he played piano for uh, Al Green. He okay. was like, Al Green's wow. real head musician. And so they was always around music. And uh, I remember a time we went to Florida and we was in some studio in Florida. And they wanted me to rap, and I'm like, nah, nah, I'm good, I'm good. My mom like, go up there, go. I'm like, nah, I'm good. It ain't for me. Oh, so you must used to rap around the house or something like that? No, they rapped. I didn't rap. Oh wow. I, I played football. I oh played yeah, baseball. football. I played basketball. Right. I was an athlete. sports athlete. Yeah, so it was like, no, I wasn't with it. I, I was too shy. I got you. And so then, um, <laughs> you then got the best of both worlds. <laughs> later on, later on, like it hit me in high school. Um, and then, like a lot of my friends, we'd be freestyling, listening to like old Lil Wayne mixtapes, and then that's when it happened. That's dope, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got a story to tell, and right here at UNG Radio, we love to bring MCs in and talk to them about that story, so that the world can know uh, what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. if you think about the hip hop game right now, we got a uh, we got several podcasts that we had a lot of podcasts, but we got like several like the top ten podcasts for hip hop for artists to go advertise. You got Gilly the Kid. What's the name of that? Uh, million. Oh, something. Million Dollar Game. Right? Million Dollar yeah. Game. But yeah. All right. Then you got the Breakfast lot. Club. Yeah, Breakfast yeah. Club is a little bit of both radio and podcast, right? Right. Yeah. 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 And then you got the Drink Champs. Yeah. 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 Now the Drink Champs, they really don't really rock with uh, up and coming or unsigned. They go with legendary. Yeah. 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 Then you got the Smoke. Smoke a lot with my boy Yuck Mouth on the West Coast. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? All the smoke, all the smoke. All the smoke. Yeah, smoke. And then yeah, who yeah. else we got? We got Quali, Talia Quali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not that many. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we got you and your radio. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when you come to LA, you know what I'm saying? What do you think about? You know, everybody want to go to K Day or to the Beat or Power 106. It's not that many underground. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So we I work, like tapping in with the underground. Yeah, we're working hard yeah, on yeah, You know like what I'm saying? This is what this is for, our platform. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We uh um, we specialize in playing unsigned music or up and coming music. You know what I'm saying? I know both of you brothers have been at it for a minute. You got your music on all platforms, y'all doing shows. I seen the videos, you know what I'm saying? I seen uh you rock with one of my boys curfew, the video that you and curfew got. Oh, yeah. that song? oh man. Um uh Ted body. I don't know. <laughs> I know what you're talking about though. We was yeah. in down uh in Chinatown. Y'all was in Chinatown, Chinatown and y'all shot that video? Chinatown and then we went somewhere like uh that's cool. Okay, now, how long you been in LA, man? 2015. May. 2015, back and forth? Oh, uh, no, that's when I moved out here. I was back and forth before that, in 2011. Okay. Um, that's when I started coming out here. That's cool. I went to the Bay Area, messed with uh, Mr. Fab. Me and him got a joint together. That's uh, right. Mr. Vita Fab. Vita from the Bay Area. And then I was out here with uh, Max Lux. Uh, Max Lux was um, on Real Hip Hop. Hollywood with Ray J and him. Right, 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 right. Uh, Shorty Mac, me and him did a couple joints, which is Shorty Mac, I mean, just looking up. That's dope, man, you know what I'm saying? I gotta give props to the Bay Area. The Bay Area get it in, you know what I'm saying? Too short, E feasy, you know what I'm saying? Mac, Dre, all my kin folks out there, you know what I mean? I love Oakland, California. I love it. San Francisco look all nice, then when you cross that bridge, you hit Oakland. It's a different, it's Oakland, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a trip, you know what I mean? It's a beautiful thing, you know what I mean? Richmond, all that, you know. But hey, UNG Radio Station, man, we got these two artists in the building. We're gonna have a nice interview for the night. We're gonna go <coughs> to a song right here. We're gonna come back and talk to Linda Laval about uh, his new project that we got going on. Right now, let's get into this song right here. It's called Ball. It's by Young Tez. All right, right here at UNG Radio, y'all. Let's check it out. <laughs> Boy, right 
right there, Young Tiz. Yo, Tiz, man, that's hot, man. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like it's already out. It is. Yeah, it's out. Where's it at, man? On SoundCloud, on all platforms? It's on Spotify, uh, Apple Music, all that title. You know hey, yo, the out. music is good. The, the vibe is good. The video, I've never seen it. I just learned about this song last night. Yeah, no, it's no video. See, last year I put out a song every Friday. Every Friday I dropped a new song, and then I threw in little extra songs here and there. And um, with that song, that was one of the ones that I dropped last year. Okay, that's dope, man. All right, big homie, you from Florida. Dead County in the building, all right? What's the deal? Speak to me, man. Well, what's good, y'all? So, uh, originally, I'm, so I'm from Miami-Dade. Uh, I grew up in North Miami. That's where it gets a little rough around the way. I Liberty City, Opelika. What up? Like, you know what I'm saying? What's up, my people out there? Hey, little Haiti, what's happening? See, oh, it's like I'm fed, not Liberty Boulay. City. You know what I'm what's saying? Happening? We here, though. We here. Uh, West Indian, the building, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Caribbean, Nula. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, grew up there. I, I remember being a kid, having, like, you know, the dealers, the dealers have it. Like, you know, little, I don't, I sh Tez could tell you about this. You know how they be using kids as runners? Yeah. I remember when the old, when the little big homies was trying to get me to run, I was like, a jit. Like, I, I was like five or something, right? Yeah, five years old. Yeah, take, was, the, hey, take this pack. Come no, on. there was like, there was like, hey, you want to make some money? And I'll never get my cousins. They was mad because I said no, bro. <laughs> That's how that's how much but and now you see them on Facebook, they moms and they like you never thought this would be just this was the same person, you know wow. what I'm saying? Deep, they had Chuck E. Cheese they having a good time. I was like, I remember when you wanted me to serve with <laughs> but you know, but all of that, I haven't I grew up around music just like Tez. And just like him, I know I want like I knew I loved music. I always had an affinity for it. But like I was always afraid because everybody around me was so good that it was intimidating. Oh, wow. so, so I wanted to just be like a Diddy, like I'll be in the background, like hype, hype for you, right? And then at my OG, shout out to my big homie, my brother, Dooley, Dooley Sheen in the motherfucking building, my sick shit, you know what it is, bro? I love my brother. He was the one that was like, yo, you write poetry, bro. Hip hop and poetry. Like, oh, so you started out doing poetry? Yeah, I was doing spo spoken word. And so you wanted to do doing shows? Or you yeah, yeah. I, I, was, I was writing because like whenever, like, because me and my mom hit a wall, financial wall where we was like, Jumping from crib to crib. I got you. So like, if it wasn't for the fact we was couch serving our family, we would have been homeless. Okay, I got so, you. So like, I, I was taking, and because my mom, when we moved in, we got kicked out of our one apartment because of her wanting us, me to still go to the white school. I was going from like the hood to the white school on the bus by oh, myself wow. as like a kid. I got you. Know, you know what I'm saying? So poetry for me, my my point in mentioning all that was that poetry for me was the escape. Right, so you, you know, express yourself. Yeah, you exactly. originally a writer. Yeah, yeah. Right. So like, and so when my big homie would like would read my poetry, he was like, "Yo, you just gotta figure out how to put it to beats." How does that come, man? Because um, I was first introduced to Florida with MC Shadi and the Two Live Crew and Trick Daddy and Trina and uh, the Six Nine Boys, things like that. And what they do is a lot of dance music and, and bass and you yeah. hardcore which you're not not saying any dance music, but you hardcore. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Like that to me, I think what um because like you mentioned trick, of course right. I gotta get it and also I gotta give it up to Ace Hood, uh, yeah. Iceberg, you know what I'm saying? Cause Hey, iceberg. You know what I'm saying? I know about iceberg. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I both, like the South has because I grew up on um UGK, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. So for me, the South's always been about lyricism because we had to come outcast, you know what I'm saying? So right. we had to come out the gate. But for me, what really solidified, like, oh, who I'm influenced by, my top five would be Rick Ross because the way he came out, <laughs> yeah, just like the presence, the presence, okay. and, and the way his the finesse. If you listen to Rose, there's like the technique. If you study MCs, Rose is giving you everything. Well, damn, you got me thinking, man, how long have you been rapping? Oh, shit, since. So. 19, so I'm 31 now. Like, really, 17, 17, but so about 14 years. Okay. I'd say I got good at it at 26. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's nothing wrong with that. You was in your beginning stage. You had to learn your direction. Yeah, and that's, that's the thing. Like, the thing that they don't talk about is that as an MC, you're you're taking time finding your voice. True. Finding like, cause you're studying everybody, right, right, right. but then eventually you find what you sound like. What Tez and I get this compliment all the time. We both get the compliment of like, you don't sound like nobody else. Which is back in the day, which you can attest to as a big homie. Like that's what you, as an MC, you was proud of. Like I don't sound like nobody True. else. True. I used to sound like Ice T. Oh, I can. See. I listen to Ice T a lot. You know what I'm saying? So I was kind of like trending that direction. But then I had to learn to do my own thing. Yeah, because you know? we we all come from schools. Like for me, my school is like rock him, 
Rakim, Jay Z, Eminem. Like I like I like to me, hip hop's a puzzle. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, then I gotta hit you. Yeah, give me some some top. Who you listening to? Who your top five? Who's, who you listening to? Who's, who's, okay, that? so top five, top five uh, in no particular order, but particular order. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I gotta give it to Ho because I think Ho's a master <laughs> at it. Master at it. If you listen to and and what, a lot of things he's giving you depth and a lot of like nuanced things in his bars and sometimes they go over your head. So was you listening to Jigga in the South or when you when you came? In the oh life? no, in the South, because we love Ho. We love okay. Ho back home because especially Rose had that connection with them. Right, 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 right. So right, like, right. so a lot of us because we back because me and me and Dooley. We, I mentioned earlier, my big homie, we was up, we was like on that, you know, we would rap a verse to you and be like, who said that? And oh, then you yeah. had to know, yeah, and then you, we would have to talk about why is this person your favorite or whatever, right? So then there's hope because anything you want in t the technique as an MC, hope can give you. Eminem, same thing, and versatility for days. Nas, because you're getting, you get another technically efficient MC is Nasir, especially that, uh, King's Disease too, like he snapped, he snapped, you know what I mean? Like the fact that longevity, like I love that these guys, that Hov is a whole billionaire, and even time, every time he drops on a verse, he still raps like it's his first album. I got you. This yeah. man's got nothing to prove at this point. So you know what I'm saying? Right, so right. I think that's what's important. Ti, like I mentioned, Ti, because shout out Tip. Tip, <laughs> Tip is a monster. Yeah, and he then got four, and he go hard. Yeah, 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 and then Ricky Rose, because I gotta represent for the city, man. And you keep saying Rick Ross, you got me thinking. Oh. When did Rick Ross come out? Oh, you know what I mean? Because you, you say you've been rapping slash 16, four, four, 17 five, years. Oh, no, 14 years. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. how long has Rick Ross been out? 04, 06, 04, 05. Like a little bit before that because he was ghostwriting for people and he also had little Okay, 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 okay. That's deep. That's deep. Yeah, so yeah. as a kid, you really didn't, you know about him, but you didn't really. Oh well, you was you was young, so you couldn't slap in uh, Luke. Luke. <laughs> yeah, like the Luke. No, but the thing is, my cousins did. Like, oh, okay. Like because you know, my, like my cousins was like, we look back. You ever look back at things you like your uncles or things people had you do and be like, that was fucked up. My cousins, my older cousins would have me and my little cousins fight. Like you know what I'm saying? So like we was always like. So my whole point is that we was always influenced by the older people because we wanted to be like the older people. So they was listening to. All that ratchet shit, and wow. he was like in the background trying to be about it. You know, when kids trying to be hey, grown, I got <laughs> listening on sex, be like, "Yeah, fuck bitches." Have no idea how funny smell. That's deep, man. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's deep. You know what I mean? The music industry is like a floater, so we're gonna listen to everybody. When I was a kid, we had to clean the house up. We would listen to Shaka Khan and people like Luther Vandross and things like that. So Big that's Luther how I knew about the old school. Yeah, yeah. Big Luther, Luther. <laughs> That's good. So, you know, I just mentioned the name because he's legendary. And yeah. I have been listening to Bootsy Collins. Oh, Bootsy. You know my dad was on Bootsy Collins. You know, he know, was on Funk and Delic and shit yeah. like that, you know. But I love overall music. Stevie Wonders and things like that. Yeah. You know, my mother was signed to Solar Records wow. right here in Hollywood on Kawanga. Uh, so I, I know about the music industry, you know. So I used to get babysitted by Mabel King. and So I've been aware of all this music. But when I got of age, I started listening to hardcore rap, you know, the Chuck D. Karras, one NWA, Ice T, shit like that. And to this day right now, if you kind of sort of busting like that, you might not get no play. Don't get me wrong, rappers are still busting hard. We got, we got the Griseldas with the Griseldas. Yeah, but they doing a swag. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know they always try to get a flavor a little bit. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So right now, you got to be careful about how you market the album. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk to the world about that. You know, Ted, you coming out of Chicago. Yeah. Now, Chicago, you know, like to me personally, Twister, that's his house. Even though Kanye probably sold more than Twister, yeah. it's still Twister's house. Respectfully. All right. Yeah. I got love for Kanye, but Kanye understands what I'm coming at when I say this. You know what I'm saying? Because Twister been putting it down from day one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he didn't get the, the major deal slapped on the table for him to get these big pushes. He just did it. Shout out to Kanye, yeah. too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and he reached back. He, uh, common sense, he reached back to a couple cats. What's the name of the, the two? The con Crucial Conflict? Yeah, Crucial Conflict, uh, Do or Die. Yeah, Do or Die. Uh, um, his and also the Brad, the Brad. Oh yeah, Chicago, Brad. So let's, not, let's not leave her out. Oh, Chance, Monster, Chance. Monster too. Yeah, the rapper. Now the Brad, man, she was one of my favorite female MCs. She absolutely, she was yeah, one she was. Monster, you Monster. I know she she on another world right now, but <laughs> I love her music. You know what I'm saying? I rock with her and Lisa Ray. You know what I'm saying? 
But as far as you coming out of Chicago, you know what I'm saying? I know you say play, play, you play football, but I know you listen to music. Who were you listening to? Back then, I was listening to a lot of Twist and Do or Die. That was like, you know what I'm saying, typical Chicago music. Uh, other than that, I was listening to like uh, Cash Money. Cash Money coming out of N.O. Uh -huh. Little Baby and, and uh, Juvenile and yeah, BG Knockout. Bling, bling. Yeah, Every time it's coming. Bling, bling. bling. Yeah. I was listening to that. I was listening to uh, DMX, 50 Cent. Woo, rest in peace, OG. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, DMX, greatest. kill. Yeah, you know I mean? So I know you was listening to Mass P if you was listening to New Orleans music. Uh, a little bit, but okay. I was more so in uh, Cash yeah. Money. Cash Money. Uh, and um, who, Fabulous, Jada Kiss, uh, artists like that. Okay. You know, I like lyricism, like wordplay. It's one thing that catch my ear. Okay, wordplay, that's dope, you know what I'm saying? Speaking of wordplay, let's get into a song right here that's called South Kid by you, Big Homie. Yeah, yeah, and we're yeah. gonna come back and talk about the wordplay in the industry. Uh, can wordplay continue to get played on the radio or is it get played out? Open mic, is it get played out? Do we have to do swag or do we have to talk about glorifying drugs and money and the new world? Because when we, like all the conversations that we have tonight, it had nothing to do, we didn't have no platforms. We didn't have a, a Facebook. Right, right. Even before MySpace, we didn't have none of that. You know what I'm saying? But before we go there, man, let's make some announcements, man. I know you got what you got to make, man. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, shout out. This is International Women's Month, and we are celebrating our black queens. We've got an author, Johnny Green. Her new book, Celebrating Me, is now out, now available. You can catch it everywhere. Barnes & Nobles, Amazon. Pull up on her, man. Very important. We need to hear her message. That's dope. Check that out, man. What you got, Jay? Um, well, what I got uh, this year, we got the Arbor Day Celebration Tree Planting Event. It's going on Saturday, April 9th, and that will be from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. That is at Mark, uh, Mount Carmel Recreational Center. Hey, man, now see y'all advertising these companies because it's important that independent entrepreneurs work together, all right? Yeah. Now, if they close down the grocery stores, because you see how gas Everything's going up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They close the grocery store down right now. Then uh, you asked out. You ain't. Most of us in LA live in a duplex, a little house or an apartment. They ain't growing nothing in the front yard. <laughs> you know what I mean? At least go out there and throw some beans in the yard or something. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Teach yourself something. Yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, this is real. You know what I'm saying? Now let's get into this hot heat, South Kid. <laughs> let's get it, y'all. Don't go nowhere. Check out the hole. This is the hole. The hip hop game is going bananas. Now, all of us was putting in work before it was online media. Yeah. Now that we got online media, we got the best of both worlds, man. Where are you going with your music, man? Um, I really do a lot other than music. Like, uh, I'm I'm constantly dropping new projects. I'm dropping new singles. Um, shooting new videos, but I also direct videos as well. Mm -hmm. I shoot and direct and edit direct videos. Online. Um, I'm currently working with Onyx. Um, the group Onyx? Yeah. A shout out to Onyx. They support you in your radio station. They follow us. Fredo? Yeah, Fredro and, uh, yeah. and Sticky Fingers. Sticky! Yeah, we, uh, we just shot like two videos. One rough and rugged. And then they redid that slam. Mm -hmm. It's a... Slam! They, shot a, they did a new, like a, a new version of it. And um, we just shot that last weekend, so that should be out Friday. Right. Hey, that's hot, man. I, I'm, uh, I'm excited. I want to see slash hear that. You know what I'm saying? They've been putting in work for two, at least 20 plus years. They veterans in the game. They got a voice. They got things to say. Yeah. Not only were they rapping, they've done movies. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sticky, he did a movie that was extremely legendary. It was a whole entire movie. Instead of people talking, they were rapping. The whole movie. Mm. Have you seen that movie? No, I haven't. You need to check that out. He got a whole movie where they're rapping instead of talking through the whole movie. That's, That's hot. hot. It's hot. I wish I could tell you the name of it. But type I'm in Sticky Finger yeah. Movies and it'll pop up. He was a dope blade, too. Yeah. yeah he was a dope blade. True. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. deep show was hard. They, they, they didn't give my dog a chance, really, man. He was, he was hard on that, bro. Well, the thing about them is they MCs, right? So they kept it MC world, in the MC world, so they didn't get a chance to get the big, you know, the big contracts and all that. They might have seen them, you know what I mean, I don't know, but they, everybody knows who Onyx is, you know what I'm yeah, saying, yeah, they're legendary, yeah. you know, they bless, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, sure. That's dope. We need more uh, people from the old school to come in and continue because the new world is kind of sort of saying, 
oh, he's 25, 30 years of age, or he can't go no more. Yeah, you got to be young in order to put music out. No, did you see Ron Isley on the on the verses? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Did he get it in? Oh, oh got it in, <laughs> you bro. Know what you better saying? stop playing. You better put respect on fire too. Yeah. Stop playing. There's you no know, such thing as age can't. You know, you uh, you uh, you expire because you're 45. Yeah, yeah. No, no. If you got good talent, good music, you should be able to go forever. Longevity. Yeah. Longevity. You know. So speaking of that, some art. Who are you? Are you a MC? Yeah, or, or you a rapper, or you know, because it's a difference. I'm a recording artist. That's how I brand myself. I'm a recording artist. So you may hear rap, you may hear like a little harmonizing on some songs. It's I, I hit all different types of avenues, and I'm trying to do it all. That's dope so, because some artists only got like a one hit wonder. Mm -hmm. yeah. No disrespect to them. Yeah. Because yeah, some yeah. artists like I'm not in it to be a star. I'm in it to get a hundred thousand real quick. Yeah. You know. Then you got the other ones to say I'm a fight for the community. Out. Yeah, you know, yeah. if the community gonna march, I'm gonna march with them. So, yeah. you know, like an Erica Badu. Yeah. You know, Erica Badu, she makes music that everybody loves, but she fights with the community. Mm -hmm. exactly. And then she goes with the hip hop R&B community because she DJs at Soul Train, she sponsors shit, she gets down with things, she sponsors UNG Radio, you know, she overall. Yeah. Then you got some artists like, uh, no disrespect to my big brother Rob Bass, but Rob Bass, he made maybe one out of two albums at the most, but everybody knows him from uh, Bass, the song Bass. Mm -hmm. And then it called Bass? Uh, it takes two to make the things go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now that's his main hit. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But then you got an artist like a Michael Jackson. He made eighty hits. Exactly. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah. it is a difference. You know yeah. what I mean? So what about you, Big Homie? Uh, I would say it correlates in the same world because for me, uh, yes, I'm a recording artist, but my foundation is as an MC. Because the thing is, I'll give you those grooves, maybe. But like, like, let's say in the hook, I might, I'm still gonna give you a bounce, right? Okay. Depending on what I'm feeling, whatever I'm feeling, because the thing is, whatever the music's telling me to give you, I'm gonna give you. It comes out. That kind of sort of comes from the poetry. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're right. So, so yeah, so whatever I'm feeling, I'm feeling. If I got, if I'm a saying on the hook, and my saying, when I say saying loosely, I mean, I'm gonna hold the tune in the bucket, and my engineer's gonna go to work. But, but it's still gonna sound dope. You know what I'm saying? But uh, in the verses, I'm always, even if I'm bullshitting, even if the song's about partying. I'm gonna give you a dope verse about part. Hey, you know, you, you know made me say when I was rapping, right? I uh, I didn't really accept beats from producers. I would make a song like right now at the table, Madman Tears in the Vault, <sighs> Madman Tears in the Vault. <sighs> that's how I would make my yeah, beat, yeah, and that's yeah. how the hook would go. Then I would go to the studio and and say with my mouth to the engineer or whatever producer, and we would make it there. That's dope. So, so that that's really dope. match the song. That's dope. I did that. I did that with one of my records off the new album. Uh, it's a uh, Lavocan. Uh, I sent you down a while back, okay. way way back when. But it was a. It had a West Coast bop to it. And the way I, I remember, I came up with the hook first because I was like, "What you worry about your ex for when Lavocan do more?" What? What? And I sent yeah, yeah. it. And yeah, and then I sent that to my boy Ruben. Ruben was part of the track brothers, you know, legendary group in the making. You heard. And uh, Rube came, sent me back a West Coast type beat, and it was it was not it was the first time I ever hopped on on top of Tomb. Like okay. you know you know that specific ex uh, West Coast bump. That's bounce. another thing. An artist have to be able to adjust. That's and that's what I came up on. I okay. came up on like Rakim, oh, like who I, if you ever get a chance read Rakim's book, it's like a great read. It's, he came out what a couple years ago. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I know yeah. About yeah that book is fantastic. Damn, I didn't read that book. I need to get up on it. Oh, bro, so many gems, so many gems, and like one of the things he talked about, like an MC should be able to hop on anything, and mm -hmm. I'm and I'm that I can be on anything, and with people like Tez around me, like. Tez, I can I can tell you when we talked earlier about MC, some of my best verses came from us collabing because Tez be doing things. I'm like, oh, okay, I gotta stretch, I gotta stretch. Okay, this is what this nigga gonna do today. Okay, so that was, I ain't know we was playing like that today. You know? In the room, that's good because it helps you enhance your rap. Oh, absolutely. You, know what I mean? absolutely. you don't want to be around if this if your part your teammate is is rapping something you know something weak. You're not gonna be able to shine at your potential. Tez has been on records with people. I ain't gonna put nobody on blast. I ain't get messy like that. But Tez has been on records with, and I'm like, Tez, why you do that? That was, <laughs> that was just not fair, bro. <laughs> that was not fair. Bro. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like, like I said, no matter what the vibe is, I'm coming ready. I'm coming ready. I'm gonna. I like freestyles on my thing. Shout out to my brother Tez. That he can do this for days. I'm gonna tell you a quick story, right quick, y'all. Yeah. Tez, one time we was at the studio, right? And I thought I sent him a beat, and he was, and he was like, "No, no, you, you showed me you, you rapping, 
I didn't get the beat. And I was like, oh, damn, do you think you come up with something? He's like, give me a second. And then, like, he listened to the beat for, like, I think five minutes. Maybe five minutes might have been too much. And he's like, all right, I'm ready. <laughs> Bodies is first, which you'll hear. It's a Swagfield record with me, him, and Rocky. You'll hear that soon come in. It was just like, my jaw dropped. I was like, this nigga dropped it. I felt like throwing my notebook away. So, you know what I mean? But, like, but off the dome, not my realm. Because I, I overthink. I overthink. I but my pen, I'll put against anybody. That's dope. Yeah, yeah, my That's pen dope. I'll put it against anybody. Now, with you, when, with your directing the videos, are you using yeah. your pen? Do you, like, uh, no, did the Onyx give you a vision and yo, you went home and wrote it out for the video? You with just, with the out? Onyx thing, uh, it's actually my uh, my videographer. Okay. He, um, he knows that I shoot videos, direct videos and all that. So he'll hit me up like, yo, we got this going on, come through. And I come through and then I do whatever needs to be done. That's dope, man. Um, whether it's um, flying a drone, whether it's working a stabilizer, um, giving a vision like, oh, maybe shoot this angle or maybe do, you know what I'm saying, different things. But uh, it's other things I did. I went to the Complex Con with them um, and shot that whole event. Um, but yeah, we got some other things in the work, so. Um, you got me thinking, so, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's a different ballgame. Um, when, uh, like I said, I used to do just rapping at first. Yeah. Then I had to elevate, I had to learn what it takes to walk in the building and go talk to a manager and ask him, could I rent this building now to bring artists in there? Mm -hmm. Then I learned that was a whole new ball game. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> once you get the building, you have to learn you need a security guard, you need mics, you need a mm -hmm. DJ, you need this, you need that. So many different levels, you know what I'm saying? With you doing football, music, directing, those are a lot of avenues, you know what I'm saying? Which one you think you're really shining at the most? Uh, all, I'll answer for you. All, <laughs> all, bruh. All, cause go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> cause I feel like, cause, cause I feel like I know Tez. Tez is my brother. Okay, well, my since brother. Since you said that, then what about these artists that come to the station? Should I tell them, hey, you need somebody to shoot you a dope video? Hell yeah. You know what I'm right. <laughs> Send them my way. That's Absolutely. What's up. Send them my way. I mean, I, I do what it takes to get done. Like get the job done. I know a whole lot of people. I do a lot of things. You can check my. Record, look me up, yeah, look at the streams. Well, where did this come from? Was you doing this in Morehouse? It started there. So, like, what, did you, what did you get a degree in? Kinesiology. Kinesiology? Yeah, he, explain uh, that to people. The study of about. human movements. I could be an uh, athletic trainer, I could physical therapy, uh, re rehabilitation of um, injuries. So, basically. you go out people fighting like it's hardcore. Yeah, so when somebody get hurt, you know, uh, you, you, you mess the shoulder up. I, I help you out to get you back where you need to be at. Like, that sounds like a whole other field, too. You can go rent a field. That's going to open yeah, up and, and, and be time. dope at that. Go to work. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> but, but I do want to mention one thing. Since I got the time, I really ain't talked about it at all like that. But uh, I do have a restaurant. Oh, yeah. wow. Light uh, work. <laughs> go I ahead. have a restaurant with two locations. One two. In, one in Brawley. California and the other one in El Central California. Okay. Uh, and the one in El Central California is at Imperial Valley Mall. Um, just come through. What's the name of the restaurant? Inferno. 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 It's not like I've seen that. I've seen that somewhere before. Yeah. Probably because we're going worldwide. What kind of yeah. man? You didn't bring no samples? Damn. Yeah, for oh. real. What the pizza? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we got a pizza. Show. We got pizza. We got burgers. We got wraps. We got salads. Steak, asparagus, uh, salmon, brisket. Hey, you know what salmon? Pork. I've been going hard because I don't really eat meat that much. But I eat salmon, right? Yeah. I cook it slow, then chop it all down and make tacos. Mm -hmm. Man, salmon tacos. Y'all yeah, <laughs> <laughs> better get up on it, man. Avocado tacos and salmon tacos. That sounds dead. Yeah. Healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's clean. That's clean. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Clogging us up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, true. That restaurant world is something new too because uh, they do uh, uh, inspections a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got to have an A or a B. Anybody, you got a D or a C, they might not want to come into your company. Yeah, exactly. You know? How's that working for you? Um, it's been in the works, but now it's like really going live, so it's, it's good. Uh, of course, we got A's. We clean, we clean, we clean, <laughs> clean baby. You yeah, ain't yeah. gonna find nothing in food, nothing so, funny. So it's good. Hey, well, look, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Man. Okay, what's the name of the directing company? Uh, we Own Films. Okay, We Own Films, Inferno. We need to get We Own Films and Inferno as one of the sponsors right here with G Radio. 
And also, okay. let me let me comment on Tez as a director because he's um he's the director, and I'm gonna say this publicly now. The only thing that's ever gonna change if my budget changes is that Tez gets paid more because that's my director. Because the reason why I fuck the videos look good, so Tez uh, shot the video. Yeah, Tez is my yeah, Tez is my guy. That's, he didn't even put your name down, did you? Or I put we I put we on films. So yeah, we on films. I credit the okay. Yeah, yeah. And every time I, I always tag Tez and everything because the thing is Tez is. Like what I like about him is love about him is that he understands the artist. Like, you know how when you're looking to translate your song into a visual, you know what I'm saying? He knows how to just make it work. Cause there are times I'm like, I get the final product from him, and I'm like, damn, that worked with that timing with the beat because he times it out right. Cause I think it all just connects for him. You know what I mean? And like, you gave me a flashback when you came to the radio space. You came with some cameras. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I remember that. Yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Tez is a beast at what he do. I mean, you see the camera right there, too. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, so. I don't want to expose what the man got going on in the radio. <laughs> 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 I haven't had that in a child. Oh, <laughs> we announced it. We announced it. Yes. Well, My, niece is coming. My niece is coming. My niece is coming. Oh, you having a baby girl? A baby girl. First child? First. Congratulations, my Yeah. Baby. It's a shot that you don't It's this song that you got that we used to play a couple years ago really strong because the people on Twitter were requesting. I'm trying to think of the damn song. I know how it go, but I don't want to say the word. Was it iPoppy? No. Oh. Well, iPoppy is dope. That's in a whole other yeah, language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People don't even know. You can speak Spanish? Lo entiendo más que lo hablo. So. Hey, that's dope. Yeah, this man got music in Spanish. Yeah, yeah, I got I got a dolo reggaeton record coming, so see, yeah. I wasn't one of those fake interview uh, hosts or whatever. I know the music. Yeah, see, yeah, I, no spoke doubt. Whatever, I know you speak Spanish. Yeah, yeah. But this song is uh, eight five seven seven five. Oh five, yeah, five. eight. You talking about oh, eight. Eight, eight? Fall down seven, rise up eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going hard on that track. Yeah, you know what I'm So I, what's the deal with you? You like to stand on roofs and shit. That was for uh, the Earn the Title video, and then like Tez, because that was enough. Okay, that's an, that's thank you for bringing that up. That's a great example, because that was a video where like we I was like, hey, Sky was there. Uh, we was at um we went up to a roof in downtown because I found this location. I was like, yo, I want to shoot this video here, and we did one location, and Tez makes it look like we were like. Four places, you know right, what I'm right. saying? Just the way, and there's a part where he has me standing up and like angle it, it makes me feel like I'm on top of like the whole city. It's just that he's got like the director's eye. Like, no, no. You know, when you just gotta trust him because there were times I felt silly. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go with God and trust my brother. Right. <laughs> and then you get to the final product, you're like, oh, you know what I mean? And it's, and it's hard to explain that to someone new. You know what I mean? We've worked with artists where it's like, the trust isn't there, I'm like, just trust. That's a deep one, because earlier in the conversation, we were talking about, you gotta have a team. Yeah, no, okay. and that's my brother. Now, in the music industry, you have an artist like, uh, I don't want to name no names, but you have an artist, and they have a song called Fire. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then all of a sudden, he's just talking about his music is fire. And then he meets the director, where well, his company says, we want you to hook you up with this guy here, he's done videos for Nicki Minaj, he's done it for Rick Ross, he's done it. And so you're thinking, oh, he's done these videos for these big folks, so let me let him do my video. Then all of a sudden, your video got horns, you got horns on your oh, head, yeah. and fire underneath your That happened with Kanye. That happened with Kanye, if you watch his documentary. You know, yeah. Like, he went with someone, he went with a big name, and then ended up firing dude and going back to his homie. You right. Know what I mean? That's deep. Now, so, the game, you have to be careful what you're doing. You got to know what you're doing. I say, study the history of this game so you can really advance, because most of these companies, when they give you the deal, they already got a plan for you. They own this company in San Antonio. They own the one in Denver, so you're going there to perform. It's really your company's boy. Yeah, Shit yeah. like that. So it's a history thing that you need to know. You know, it's study of the game. Right now, uh, how how are artists surviving? Streams, what? Doing streams, live shows, merch. Yeah. Merch, get a thousand jobs like Tez. That's important. Yeah, yeah. If you are an artist and you're getting blessed to make money, stay off Instagram, put the money on you. Like it's corny, bro. Like, like, no, hey, to no, me, to me, man. to me. I, but do it. I get a young nigga mentality. I used to do X, Y, and Z once upon a time, so I get what it's like. So, all right. So, from an OG perspective, open up a, a company. Okay. Uh, like the reason uh, for me, it's like w the money thing is that one. For example, you're exposing yourself. Right. You know what I mean. You become a lick. 
Ooh. You become a lick. You become Ooh. a lick. You know what I'm saying? Especially, especially if you showing out at a location like, oh, we here at blah blah blah, which is wild to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, and then, and then you exposing yourself, and people, the wolves are out. Uh. The wolves are out. And, oh. and, and people are hungry. People are hungry. Yeah, and, bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, so if you're showing out like that, you opening yourself up to a lot of hurt. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, okay, when I used to see the kids towing their guns on oh, IG, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why I said that bar in, um, uh, in Dirty South Kid when I'm like, F FBI watching, waiting for a plea, safe sex, y'all ain't fucking me. Because it's like, how could, like, like I grew up on everything you're doing is in secret. You shouldn't even know I'm, I'm affiliated to whatever. That's true. You shouldn't know. You shouldn't know. Real, should, real people that got money don't, don't, don't. Yeah, show like, like I got you. To me, that's yeah, funny. Yeah. Like, Tess be dropping shit on me, like low key, like about the restaurant. Like he was just posting it. That's dope. And then, like, I was just like, what? And then I was just like, hey, my nigga senses is telling me you own this shit. And he was like, I forgot what he said. So he's like, yo, <laughs> <laughs> he said something that's so cool. casual. But the thing is, he be making boss moves and just. Show me that's what Big Brother's supposed to do. Show you the game and what you're supposed to do. And well, I'm going to most definitely continue to promote it and let everybody know about Inferno. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's a, a, a cool blessing that families could come out and uh, come get a nice place. You know what I mean? And what, what city you say it's in? Uh, one in Brawley and one in El Central. El Central, California. Yeah, yeah. Yo, man, before we get out of here, man, I know y'all got some shout outs, man, to give out man, to the folks, man. Yeah, Let's get it, man. Definitely. Let's, 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 let's be known. It's Little Levo, 305 in the building. We showing love to West Park, Lake Forest, all the dirty south, you know what I'm saying? So representing Swagbia, which is me, Tez, uh, Rocky So Crazy, who got an EP coming out. Her shit gonna drop. Uh, which, uh, let's see, we got DeSanti, got some things in the pocket. We're waiting for some new Ray Mitchell. Uh, I got my album coming out finally. Earn the title is dropping. I'm dropping two albums this year. Earn the title in round two. Earn the title dropping on my older brother who passed six years ago. I'm dedicating this album to him. Earn the title dropping uh, you know, at the end of April. So shout out to my brother Evans, my brother David. You know who was it was his sixth year this week too. Lost two brothers in one year, but that's what made me go hard. I'm not wasting the breath on, on y'all. So round two dropping on my birthday. We going home, September. So just be ready. I got more visuals because Tez and I are always working. And we going to got more performances coming up, more live events. We actually on our way to No Excuses right now to go perform right now. Yeah. Tez. Perfect. You want to go in? What up, Tez? Yo, yo, yo. Um, I go by Young Tez. You can follow me on all my platforms, uh, Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube. Check me out. Um, I got music all over, Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal. Um, this year, I'm working on everything. Uh, I can't really give you one thing that I'm working on, but I'm working on everything. I am working on the docu-series too, so y'all can actually see what I, what I do, what I've been doing, what I got in the works. Um, you don't miss, y'all. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's from the yeah. shy, so you don't totally miss. Totally different person since the last time I saw you. Shout out. <laughs> this, man, this man got a lot going. That's good. That's good. And shout out uh, back at home, Chicago, Bellwood, Stand Up, uh, everybody back there. Uh, shout out people, my homies in Atlanta. And um, yeah, also. Yeah, shout out mama. You know she gonna Oh, yeah, my mom, of course. <laughs> Mine too. Oh, all the way. <laughs> um, but yeah, with the restaurant too, we do it. We do shows too. That's dope. So we're gonna have you know, live performances uh, in both locations. That's dope, uh, man. Congratulations, so, my brother. Yeah, check us out. I Keep doing what you do, man. Don't stop. Don't let nobody stop you, man. Yeah. All right, yeah. work hard. Of course, of course. You got that education for a reason, man. All right? Yeah. And I respect that, you know what I'm saying? We're going to continue to play your music here. We're going to support you, do your drops, the whole nine, man. You know what I'm saying? It's UNG Radio Station broadcasting live for the people of the streets, y'all. Let's do a throwback right now, man. All right, what y'all doing about this? Yeah.